Okay. Okay, so uh, let's start. Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Medartis Solidarity Webinars. It's a pleasure and honor to have here uh, a good friend uh, from Japan, Professor Taniguchi Akira, uh, who is Associate Professor at the Orthopedic Department of Nara Medical University. Uh, internationally well-known surgeon, very experienced and also um, a person who loves a lot um, of uh, innovation and also a lot of um, scientific work. He's uh, not only a, a good surgeon but also a good educator as you will see now in his uh, presentation. And as you might know, traditionally in the Nara Medical University, in the orthopedic department, there is a, a long historic uh, 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 research and also um, approach to the ankle osteoarthritis. And he will speak about this now in this uh, next uh, 40 minutes, more or less about management of ankle osteoarthritis. Uh, Professor Taniguchi, uh, arigato for being here and thank you for making this webinar possible. I'm looking forward to learn a lot from you and for the people who are listening to him, if you have questions, please write them in the chat and uh, Lucas Renier will then uh, make these questions orally to uh, Professor Taniguchi at the end and there will be a discussion at the end. You can also, if you want, you can also at the end demute your microphone and ask him in Japanese also if you want for the Japanese speaking people. So thanks a lot and uh, thank you for uh, presenting management of ankle osteoarthritis. Thank you Akira, thank you. Thank you, Professor uh, Baldrabana. Uh, I'm so excited to have an opportunity to speak in this worldwide web seminar. My topic is the uh, management of the ankle osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis is a clinical syndrome that results from the generation of the synovial joint. The characteristics of the ankle are low contact area, thin thickness of articular cartridge, and lower levels of post prostaglandin. According to the Professor Baldrabano, ankle OA most commonly occurs secondary to trauma in contrast with hip and knee. This slide shows the pathology of ankle OA referred by surgery of the foot and ankle. Trauma is the most frequent uh, as a ratio of 70% and rheumatoid arthritis is 11.9 and the primary etiology and uh, neuropathic and osteonecrosis are following subsequently. Radiographic findings of OA are listed in this slide. Various deformity in distal tibial articular surface and uh, opening in medial malleolar joint and uh, dysplasia of the medial malleolus. Uh, you can evaluate the condition of the joint in this uh, uh, detail using the computed tomography, uh, cystic region, osteophyte, and the degenerative change of the articular cartridge are recognized. The conventional measurements are also useful in the AP radiography, the angle between the tibial axis and the distal tibial articular surface uh, is defined as TAS and the medial malleolar surface as a TMM and the connecting line between the distal tips of the uh, both malleoli is defined as the TBM angles. And the T tailor tilting angle is also important and uh, DLS is uh, defined as the uh, angle between the tibial axis and 
joint line of the distal articular surface in the lateral view. I will introduce the research of my senior colleague, Chi. The patient with unstable ankle has a various deformity of the distal articular surface that leads to the arthritis to the ankle uh, arthritis. Classification of the ankle OA is shown in this slide. Stage one is a slightly sclerotic change, but no evidence of the joint narrowing. Stage two is the narrowing of the joint space, and three A is a particular uh, partial disappearance of the joint space, but it remains at the medial areola joint. In the stage three B, advanced to the distal uh, tibiotera joint, and in stage four uh, is a complete disappearance of the joint space. This slide shows the natural history of the twenty-eight the cases of the ankle arthritis in the average uh, follow-up of eight years. Minimum one grade progression was seen in 39%, and uh, uh, in some cases, a three or four grade of progression was seen. Most cases sh showed mild progression, but in some cases, rapid falls into the rapid course. The role of subtalar joint is extremely important. This joint compensates for the bulgous various deformity of the ankle, so evaluation, evaluation of this uh, joint is a key point to treat the ankle and the hind foot pathology. Kobe reported the original hind foot view in 15 to 20 degree irradiation angle but it can demonstrate only for the axis of the tibia and the calcaneus, and it, that is undetermined. Our senior colleague, Professor Tanaka, developed the weight-bearing subterra view. Irradiation angle was 30 degree inferiorly from the 100 centimeter posterior from the foot. In this view of the radiograph, the Taylor dome and the middle posterior facets of the calcaneus are shown simultaneously. This slide shows the TTS angle of 1, 12, the cases of the ankle OA, and 62 controls. The various deformity was progressed according to the advancement of the ankle OA. However, the hind foot alignment was maintained at the level of the subterra joint until the stage 3A. You can see the hind foot uh, alignment was spoiled in the stage 3B. From now, the talk will turn to the treatment. Treatment option uh, was listed in this slide. In stage one or two, conservative therapy is the first choice, and surgical options are selected according to the symptoms. In the advanced stage, uh, corrective osteotomy would be selected. And the total ankle arthroplasty and arthrodesis are selected to the uh, end stage. Conservative treatment uh, is applied for the first choice. Outer wedge insole is appropriate for the early phase of this disease. In the normal individuals, subtero joint was a, has a fun function to compensate for the uh, ankle inclination. In the OA ankle, the load axis shifted to the medial side and outer wedge insole will set it back to the normal position. You can see the medial uh, concentration of the load uh, in the barefoot and relief with the uh, usage of insole. 
but uh, it is limited to the early stage of the patient. In the advanced in or in the stage patient beyond the ability of the insole, it will show a negative results. So in the short summary of this section, conservative treatment using uh, outer wedge insole is appropriate for early stage of ankle OA. However, it would be harmful in the advanced and or uh, advanced or in the stage of ankle OA. The next topic is low tibial osteotomy. The concept of our osteotomy is shown in this slide. Indicates for stage two or three A, an opening wedge osteotomy and medial approach and beta tricalcium hospate usage. It targets to the uh, 96 to 98 degree in the TAS angle and uh, unrigid fixation of the fixation, uh, unrigid fixation of the fibula using percussion wire. I will show you the uh, actual surgical procedure. The first step is osteotomy of the fibula. And next is uh, tibial osteotomy at the five centimeter proximal from the tip of the medial malleolus. Iliac crest or beta TCP will be harvested and fragments are fixed using the locking plate. Clinical results of 40, case with 40 cases with eight year follow-up is shown in the slide. Subcategories of pain, walk, activity of daily living are improved significantly. And total score was improved from 49 to 80. In the radiographic evaluation, TAS was improved from 84.9 to 96.6. This slide shows post-operative change of radiographic staging. You can see the results from stage 3B has wide variety. And these six cases uh, the, uh, without osteotomy of the fibra. And uh, without these cases, uh, stage three A cases are generously uh, favorable. So well, in short summary, uh, low tibial osteotomy is appropriate for patient with stage 2 or 3A, ankle OA. Overcorrection with 96 to 98 in TAS angle is ideal, and fibula should be cut to avoid the correction loss of the tibia. The next topic is arthrodesis. Recently, we use the arthroscope assisted technique, curating of the uh, remaining cartilage and abrasion of the subchondral bone using high speed bar are uh, applied with uh, uh, support of the uh, arthroscope. Then 6.5 millimeter generated uh, cancerous compression screws are inserted under the fluoroscopic assistance. Results from 35 cases, surgical time uh, was 125 minutes and union rate was 97.1% and AOFS score 
was improved from 62 to 83.7. And post-operative bus score was 29.5. And complication uh, was seen in three cases. Uh, that includes the two cases of the irritation of the screw head and one case of the non-union. This slide shows a 77-year-old female with stage 3B e ankle OA. Articular cartridge was widely degenerated. Three screws are inserted in the favorable alignment. 2.5 years after surgery, bone union is good and the patient is completely satisfied with the results. The next topic is uh, arthroplasty. Preserving of the ROM is extremely important for the rural life. Total ankle arthroplasty is an ideal option for this condition uh, that also reduces the stress for the adjacent joint. Our con uh, conventional indication for TAA is under 15 degree of varus or valgus, and degenerative change in adjustment joint, bilateral involvement, and elderly person. According to the AAOS textbook, five year survival rate is 90% and 10 years uh, rate is 89%. Design concept of the TAA is divided roughly into two categories. That is the two component and three component models. Widely known star and Hintegra are representative models of three components. The survival rate are 86 point in 9.1 years by star and 93% in 6.2 years by Hintegra and 92.3% uh, of future purpose in slightly short follow-up times. Representative uh, two component models of the TAA are Agility, Salto, Inbon, and uh, uh, survival rate at uh, 89% in nine years in uh, agility and 85% in, in eight, nine, eight point nine years in salto, 91.6% uh, in 3.7 years by inborn. Our TNK ankle is one of the two component model made by Alumina Ceramic. This TNK ankle was originally developed by our Professor Emeritus Yoshinori Takakura. The first generation model was made with stainless steel and adapted uh, the cement, uh, cera alumina ceramic as a material of the second generation. In 1991, it was refined to the third generation model that have a screw hole and a cement piece mounting for the uh, better bone bonding. 18 years survival rate is prospected uh, to the 92%. I will show you the surgical procedure of TNK ankle. Anterior approach is used. Uh, 
extensor retina chrome is uh, important to the uh, skin closure. And approach between TBR center or and extensor half strongs is better to avoid the damage of uh, neurovascular bundle. Joint capsule is totally rejected. And osteophytes are rejected using the chisel and ronju. The initial cut is made in the line of 8 to 15 to 12 millimeters proximal from the joint capsule. Alignment rod is set in the center of the patella. And uh, anterior opening angle is 10 degrees and the corner is carefully cut to avoid the uh, fracture. The fragment was broken to the small size and rejected. Deep area of the distal tibia was treated with high speed bar. Cutting guide for the tears should be contacted to the cutting surface of the tibia. After the making of the cutting line, complete osteotomy is performed parallel to the sole of foot. Posterior edge of the cutting site was carefully rejected using bone saw and bone file. After the setting of the tailor margin cutting guide, bilateral chorea is rejected. Next, the tailor peg cutting guide is set, and after the marking by bone chisel, uh, peg crusher is impacted into uh, to make a peg hole. Next step is uh, making the peg hole uh, of the tibia. After the setting of the tibia peg cutting guide, micro bone saw uh, is inserted to the, along to this guide. Deep area is also treated by high speed bar. The final step is implantation. The terra component is fixed using bone cement to obtain the early phase stability. And next, the paste of the calcium phosphate is applied on the cement piece mounted surface of the tibia component. And then bone marrow is dropped. And after the insertion of the tibia component, manual compression from the heel.
sorry, uh, manual compression from the heel and the screw fixation is applied. And remaining uh, bone marrow is injected uh, to the small hole of pins. Repair of the extensor retinal cone is important to avoid wound dehiscence. This slide shows the clinical results of the TNK angle. In all subcategories, uh, score improved significantly, and the total score improved from 47.6 to 85.5. Actually, there were no difference in the clinical and radiographical results between the severity of the uh, bears uh, cases and neutral cases. Technical tips for uh, severe deformity are listed below. Correction of the uh, Bayer's deformity that was obtained by the release of the deltoid ligament and joint capsule and the treatment for the lateral impingement that is obtained by the resection of bony spur in the lateral malleolar joint. And appropriate cutting line is really important for implantation. And resection of the posterior malleolus is important for the plantar uh, flexion. Short leg cast is applied for three weeks for the purpose of the soft tissue protection and primary fixation. Two weeks after surgery, partial weight bearing is permitted and full weight bearing is started after uh, three weeks from surgery. Case presentation. This is a case with stage four uh, ankle arthritis and TAS the angle was 77 and the TAM was 39 and the TLS was 73. Six years after uh, the operation, she is free from uh, pain and keeping the favorable range of motions. And there is no evidence of loosening or subsidence around the implant. JSS F scale improved from 45 to 96. The next case is a 86 year old female with stage 3B ankle arthritis. Also high aged patient, she was affecting severe pain and deformity. The TAS was 86 degree and TAM was 46 and the TLS was 79 and the TTW was 16. Two years after the surgery, she is free from pain and restored a favorable motion. She can walk without any uh, restriction and the JSSF scale improved from 52 to 95. Case three is a 50 year old female of uh, elite uh, rebel variable player when she was a student. On her age of 19, a rejection, rejection of the chondroma in the left ankle was performed and uh, lateral ligament reconstruction was performed when she was 43. And soon after the surgery, she was treated by TAA. This is a plain radiograph at the first visit to our hospital. Loosening of the tibial component and subsidence of the Taylor component were recognized. In the computed tomography, Taylor component embedded to the subtalar joint. 
revision surgery was performed, previous implant was broken. After the removal of implant, residual tailor bone was resected and osteotomy for the TBR component was applied again. And the customized total tailor component was used combined with the TBR component of the TNK angle. Two years after the revision surgery, there are no losing or sinking. Also, the, there are no evidence of the loosening in uh, tomosynthesis. In short summary, total ankle arthroplasty is useful for pain relief and functional recovery. Subsidence and loosening are concerned. However, careful technique and strict control of post-operative life will break down these complications. So totally in summary, ankle OA should be treated according to the patient's age, activity, and the stage of disease that leads to the better results. Thank you for attending. Dear Professor Taniguchi, thank you very much for your excellent presentation. Thank you. So I will pass the words to Lucas to mm -hmm. uh, moderate the questions. Mm -hmm. Yes, Dr. Taniguchi, that was a great, very highly educational presentation. Thanks for that. Mm -hmm. um, so now for the audience, please feel mm -hmm. free to unmute your microphone and ask questions in Japanese or English. Otherwise, I start with a question. Mm -hmm. um, how often do you use injections like hyaluronic acid, PRP, or stem cells in early stages? Uh, in, in my case, uh, maybe a once in a month, uh, I use the injection of the uh, hyaluronic acid for the patient. Uh, but uh, uh, we have not so much cases uh, because uh, our Mm, uh, uh, insurance system doesn't cover the hyaluronic acid to the ankle joint. So oh, we have not so much cases. And uh, uh, I have no experience of the uh, uh, PRP method. Mm. Okay. Uh, maybe another question. Mm -hmm. uh, in severe varus or valgus end stage ankle away with mm -hmm. a total ankle arthroplasty, mm -hmm. how much percentage are you doing additional surgeries? That Sorry, means how much? What? Percentage, how much cases do you do additional surgeries? So uh, implantation of total ankle maybe, plus osteotomy uh, or plus think, uh, Maybe half of the cases with the uh, uh, additional approach to resect uh, some uh, resection of the chondroma or uh, some realignment of certainly, but uh, that is uh, uh, not so uh, many cases. So maybe then another question from my side. In the beginning, you showed some ankle fusions made with uh, cannulated compression screws. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, I mean, what's your decision-making criteria when you go for a fusion? And how many screws do you mainly use to fuse the ankle joint, like three? Mm -hmm. Or because in this picture you showed there was just um, one screw, I guess it was not the final X-ray. Uh, we usually use three screws. Uh, one is from the um, medial malleolus to the uh, target to the uh, lateral process of the uh, terrace, and the second is uh, a little bit posterior to the 
posterior side of the tears. And the third screw is for the uh, neck of the uh, tears. All okay. screws are inserted from uh, medial side because it is easy uh, inserting uh, to the near side of the skin. Okay. Do you yeah. also, I mean, what's your decision making criteria then if you go for screws or, for example, for a plate or? Mm. Uh, in, in our series, uh, uh, we usually use uh, arthroscopic uh, and cross using uh, uh, screws mm, uh, within uh, uh, 15 degrees of uh, various or bargus deformity. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the case with severe deformity, we usually use a uh, uh, modified uh, uh, entry approach and uh, 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 we use a uh, 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 sliding bone technique uh, fixation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, any other questions from the audience? Again, p uh, feel free to just unmute your microphone and ask directly also for the Japanese mm -hmm. attendees. You can also ask questions Japanese, don't worry about that. Right. If there are no more questions from the audience, maybe we, we give another 30 seconds. Maybe I have another question, more uh, a part of biomechanical question. Uh, mm -hmm. If you know that there is um, a ligament instability, a lateral one, and um, do you believe that the lateral link, repairing the lateral ligaments, you uh, break down the osteoarthritic process? Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think so. Uh, our senior colleague, Katsui, uh, investigated uh, the patient with ankle arthritis, uh, sorry, uh, patient with ankle instability has a various angulation of the distal mm, tibial articular surface. And the same tendency has seen in the patient with uh, ankle arthritis. So oh, we think the ankle instability has a key a pathology for the uh, ankle arthritis. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So if there is uh, no questions anymore, then I would thank you a lot, Professor mm -hmm. Taniguchi. Thank you. And uh, lovely regards to all the friends in Japan, especially also to Professor Tanaka. And um, I wish you a very good summer, not much rain. And I mm -hmm. uh, hope to see you soon, especially when Corona is not around anymore and we can see physically us again. Thank you very much and arigato. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you also from my side. So this webinar is recorded. So um, it will be then online on our Medardus website. For the next six weeks then, we, are, we have also summer holidays more or less. So the next webinar will take place in September from Jim Carmichael uh, on the 1st of September. And then you will get an email in regards to this, um, yeah, by end of August. Again, thank you very much also from my side. Have a great evening and hope to see you soon. Thank you, see you. See you, bye-bye.